What's going on guys? So I just in the last couple of days got in a decant of a brand new release that I was very interested to try because the last release is my favorite of the line. The last release being the most wanted from Azaro. So I checked out Decant House once again. Shout out to those guys for having what I was looking for. And I grabbed another 2ml decant of the most wanted Parfum, the new release. And I've had both on my hands for about 30 minutes. I've let them start to dry. So I kind of have an idea of what the heart and early dry down is going to be versus on both. We're going to spray the top note again and discuss the differences that I find and what may be my surprising thoughts between these two and which one you should actually get. So let's discuss it. Stay tuned. So, real quick, last year's release in 2021, Azaro the Most Wanted, one of my favorite releases of the year, especially from a designer standpoint. I absolutely adore this stuff. It performs great on me. It has that rich fullness that was not necessarily lacking heavily from Wanted by Night, but I feel like this just suits my taste a lot better than Wanted by Night. I love the other fragrances in the line. I'm even one of the few in the prowl that thinks, thinks tonic isn't that bad. Um, I do wear it on occasion, but the most wanted hand da hands down head and shoulders above the other flankers in the line, in my opinion. And then here we go with this year's release, the Parfum version with a different note breakdown because they only give you three notes here, which we'll discuss in a second. And then we'll give you three notes here, which we'll discuss in a second. And it's not exactly the same. And I got to say, they don't smell exactly the same other than you know, faint opening similarity. So let's get these openings sprayed and we shall discuss. So I have the most wanted dry down on this hand. So we'll go on the forearm with the most wanted here. And I have the Parfum version on this hand. So we are gonna go on this forearm with the opening. So lovely, lovely fragrance. I'm gonna read the notes off to you guys on the most wanted real quick. So the most wanted gives us a very simple note breakdown, a top of cardamom, a mid of toffee and a base of amber wood. And it does smell like all of that. It's a very sweet and spicy, thick and rich, sexy stuff. I really, really like it. It leans on the synthetic side. Sure. But this toffee sweetness, I really, really dig this stuff. The cardamom toffee combo almost comes off like a cinnamon kind of hot heat type of spice to it but not completely it's pretty counterbalanced the amber wood is very dominant here it does give it a lot of staying power without being overwhelmingly loud it's not as loud as wanted by night i actually really really dig this one and then in the top for the most wanted parfum let's discuss the notes here so this one it's a little different up top so it does have this burning burning wood firewood or something like that note and it does kind of smell like that so top notes red ginger heart note is burning woods it does have that smell it's very distinctive it stands out in the fragrance and the base notes is bourbon vanilla so as you can see the sweet notes different you have toffee for the most wanted you have bourbon vanilla which is a darker vanilla for the most wanted parfum your spices are a little different too. This Burning Woods Accord adds a fiery red hot type of tone to it. And the ginger actually provides a kind of a bright, crisp, fresh spice to go with the warmth of this Burning Woods Accord that they have created. It's very similar in the top, but there are the subtle differences. Like I said, that burning smell, the Burning Woods smell is very accurate and it stands out in the fragrance. I don't get a big heavy dose of sweetness like I do with the most wanted. I do get some sweetness, but not necessarily a thick vanilla smell. So it does have some spiciness, but there's a bit, it's a bit brighter, a little bit more airy, and a little bit fresher in the most wanted parfum versus kind of the more heavy wear density that I find the most wanted parfum to have in the top. Now, as far as these dry downs, Oh, it's all about cardamom and amber wood for the most part. 
and it doesn't necessarily smell like cardamom. I don't have that sweet powdery nature of like a La Nuit de Lome cardamom, for example. This, while does offer a little bit of sweetness, it's a much more warm and spicy type of feel. That's why I said it's almost like a cinnamon note, the way the cardamom and the blend go together. It's very, very enjoyable. This is a beautiful fragrance in the top, and it gets even better in the dry down. Now, the projection is going to tone down, but it has a, f a richness to the aroma, so it does linger. It has a decent trail without a real big scent bubble, but it's not a close-to-the-skin type of scent for me either, at least not for several hours into the fragrance. And here, it turns into that burning wood smell, like this ginger smell that I get fades away pretty quickly, surprisingly. At least it takes a back seat. It's not as bright like it is in the top note. As it starts to dry, I get a lot more. I still have that burning wood smell, but the vanilla definitely creeps in and starts to take over the fragrance. It's nice. It still has a similarity. It's like the, the accords are similar, but the way they get to the accords are a bit different. Only the most wanted parfum, believe it or not, is fresher than the most wanted, which is an eau de parfum concentration. So it's a lower oil concentration, but it's not as fresh. It's just the way they blended it and the notes they chose to use, which I don't believe there to be just three notes in each of these fragrances. I believe that's just the information they want to put out publicly because... It comes across like there's a few different things going on here, some aromatics in the Most Wanted Parfum. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty confident it could just be the blend, but it smells like a cinnamon spice as it dries down more and more with the normal release, the Most Wanted. Overall, they do smell really good. There is some redundancy here, but there's also just as much, some, just as much difference as there is similarity, as weird as that may sound, because it, they kind of cancel one another out because... It smells like the most wanted, but a different version of it, which it is. So completely redundant, not exactly. I think it comes down to choosing one or the other. But if you're the type that has a lot of fragrances, as long as you try it first, you can deem it too redundant or not. And just to see if you like it or not in the first place. But for me personally, just on scent alone, I like the way the most wanted smells more than the most wanted parfum. Performance is where it kind of changes a bit. So the projection is much heavier, so far anyways, in the Most Wanted Parfum. Like it substantially more push off of my skin than the Most Wanted, which I've worn this, you know, two handfuls of times. I'm very familiar with the scent. And then this is the early stages of me spending time with the Most Wanted Parfum. But I can tell you so far, it pumps off the skin a lot more. This stuff really pushes a bit more. I would say even beyond arm's length type of stuff. This is just an early impression on the Most Wanted Parfum. I'm going to spend more time with it over the next several days. But the scent category alone, it doesn't, it, it's very good, but it doesn't sway me enough to think it's better than the Most Wanted. This is a personal preference. This is why I said at the beginning of the video, you may be surprised to hear my thoughts. I do think this is a very good release, especially for someone that maybe does not have the most wanted. This may be the better fragrance because I have a feeling it's going to have similar staying power, if not even better, because I haven't heard anybody else's take on the fragrance. I wanted to stay blind because I knew I wanted to try this because it's an updated version of one of my personal favorite releases of the previous year. So performance seems to be no slouch and actually a bit grander, a bit more stout and a little bit more in your face. And I know that's very important to people. So if performance is going to be more important to you than actually even the scent, if performance is a number one, you're going to want to go with the most wanted parfum. This is no slouch. It's just not as loud. This is still every bit of nine, 10 hours on my skin. This stuff lasts. This is a great fragrance. I just prefer the scent to it more. But if you're looking for the heavier projection, you're going to want to check out the Most Wanted Parfum. My personal opinion is I would just get the Most Wanted Parfum. I mean, the Most Wanted, sorry. I prefer it. I like its style with the way it performs. It sticks to my skin, but it's not an overwhelming fragrance. Pronounced, but not in your face. I really like that about it. Whereas... The Most Wanted Parfum is in your face, and it does smell really good. I would easily give that a 7.5 out of 10, maybe even 8 out of 10. As I spend more time with it, we'll see. I will do a full review on it in the coming weeks. I'm going to wear through that decant first before I come with a full review. But as far as comparisons between the two, I would stick with this. If you already have this, I don't think it's necessary to get the Most Wanted Parfum. 
but if you don't have either, it's definitely one where you should sample more. If performance is just that important to you, I can see more people wanting to go with the most wanted parfum because like I said before, the early stages of this, it definitely seems like a better performer as far as projection is concerned. I'm sure Siage will be pretty similar. I'm sure longevity, longevity will be very similar because this is great in both of those categories, but where it's separated, this definitely projects more. So my final thoughts, I think they rate about the same, honestly. It's going to turn into personal preference. There is some redundancy here, but not completely redundant. There is enough differences to where you could have them both, but do you necessarily need to have them both? My answer is no, you don't need to have them both. You just need to get your nose on both and see which one you like more. And for me, it's the regular release, the most wanted. Well, that is my thoughts, initial impressions, and early experience with the most wanted parfum, the newest release versus last year's release, the most wanted, which like I said, is one of my favorites from last year. I love this stuff for the fall and the winter. This is a great fragrance for that. Great evening wear fragrance. Even great during the day if you like sweet fragrances, which I do in the cold weather. I really enjoy a good, a good sweet fragrance. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have this, have tried this, feel similar to me? How many of you have this, have tried this and said, ooh, I need this, I like this more, or vice versa? Who's tried this and thinks it's the better fragrance? It's very subjective. It comes down to your taste. I do think it smells great. If I did not have this and I was to just only smell this one, it's something I would think I need to add to my collection for sure. I do really like it. But having had experience with this, this is more my cup of tea, honestly. I'm not saying I'm not going to get a bottle of this at some point. I very well could. I do really like it, and as I spend more time with it, I have a feeling it's going to continue to grow on me more and more and more, and for me to give it my very good rating of a 7.5 out of 10 initially, it only stands to increase from there potentially to an 8, even an 8.5, and, and who knows, in the long run, I may like it more than the Most Wanted, but where I stand right now, Most Wanted Parfum, I'm better off with the Most Wanted. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.